so it is Tuesday evening. I apologize, I did not come on yesterday, but I took kind of a day for myself. But in the midst of taking a day for myself, I got a surprise. I got um, two, uh, two things of samples to show you guys. Um, I had forgot I sent off for these last, actually it was two months ago. I actually sent off for them uh, for a friend of mine but they came here and so she was like, well, go ahead and do your product review before you send them to me. Now I have gotten, I have sent off for these, their formulas before the little, um, like you join the formula club. Um, but this time it, um, the boxes were a little bit different. So I thought I would show you guys. So the first one I got is from, um, Similac comes in this super cute box. Looks like a little gift box. When you open it up, and I apologize, everything's high right now. My bed. Okay, so on the front of the box, or the inside of the box, you have just information, different things of information about the formulas. And, like, this one talks about how you're going to earn points. You get coupons. And every time you reach certain points, you get free Similac. Uh, so I would think for a new mother, that's a really good thing. So the first thing you see on the top when I took these out are different papers. Um, the first one is, this one's talking about the first and only infant formula with the HMO human milk, and I cannot say that other word, um, but it's just talking about the formula. Then you get this, and it says save now coupons inside. And it comes with the $5 checks, coupons. I mean, I don't know which ones you call them. But in your first one, you get four of the $5 coupons. Which for any new mother, I mean, that's a, that's a really awesome thing. And then it has like just the information you know, latching on, stuff like that. Um, so it's got really good information, especially for a first time mom. And then it comes with these, these gift cards um, for all these different free things that you can get. And it goes both ways. So it's like you get a $50 gift card on a pregnancy pillow, the canopy couture, custom pacifiers, little wanderers, the baby leggings, nursing pillows, called Eskimo Kids. I'm not sure what that one is. Uh, ruffle buns, the breastfeeding covers, the breast pads, baby, uh, baby books, and then the, like the carrier. So I think that, I mean, it's a really good thing. You end up not paying for this stuff, but you have to pay for the shipping and the shipping is a little bit higher, but versus what you're going to buy. I mean, I think I'd still pay the shipping. It's not too bad. So that comes in this box. And then the stuff you see is you get two cans of Similac. Uh, the first can, <coughs> excuse me, is the Similac Pro Advanced OptiGrow for immune support. It is the silver can. It has no artificial growth hormones. And then the other one is the, um, Pro Total Comfort. Okay, that one was the Pro Advance. This one's the Pro Total Comfort for immune system. It has the HMO in it and it's non-GMO. So you get the two cans of that and they are 7.6 ounces. So I mean, to me, don't get me wrong, to me, I mean, I think that's a really nice, just to test them out. I mean, the baby might not like them, but it's definitely worth, um, it's definitely worth it trying it out. And this says, after one day of feeding, parents reduce, parents reported significant reduction in fussiness, gassiness, and crying. So this one's for like um, colicky babies. So that's what comes in the Similac box. Now, and that's pretty standard across all the Similac boxes. I've seen them before. Um, I've actually gotten one before last year. 
Then I also got a Infameal box. Now, the last time I got an Infameal box, it was not quite this big. This box is huge. I mean, I was like, what the heck? And it didn't come with all this stuff in it. So on the front, it says brain first. When you open it up, it's already got the Infameal NeuroPro Nourish the Brain First, which of course, any new mom wants to do that. So I'll hold it, hopefully it doesn't spill everything out. As you guys see, it's packed. So when you go into the box, the first thing you see on top is obviously coupons two coupons for five dollars off so you get ten bucks off to be used by the end of december then you get the infamil neuropro formulas and it's just talking about the formula they do you know all their formula stuff and then you get something about playtex baby and inside it you get coupons for some of the uh, their products such as the Playtex bottle and drop-in liners. Let's see, I think that was... Oh, it's got one for, like, the Diaper Genie. And then it just talks about, like, the other things that they make. The Sipsters, the Binky product, their Binkies, um, the different, like, nipples and stuff. So it's got some neat stuff in into it. I see we got two people, one person, that jump back and forth. Also, before I show go into my next one, before I forget, because I don't want to forget this. Um, I told you guys that I was going to start doing shout outs for you artists. My new artists that I'm friends with. So, on Facebook, there is a new artist. Um, or She's new to me because I've just uh, recently found her about a month ago. Uh, her Facebook webpage is called Imperfectly Perfect Reborn Nursery. Um, this artist which um, I believe she also has a Facebook. I'm pretty sure she's um, subbed to me, but I can't remember exactly what her, her actual channel name is. But her work is gorgeous. She does some really, really pretty babies. So please, if you guys are on Facebook, check her out. Again, it is Imperfectly Perfect Reborn Nursery. Um, and I will put a link in it in the description, uh, in the comments below, so you guys can um, check her out. Um, give her a shout out that you guys saw her. Uh, you guys heard about her on my channel. So the first thing is you get a eight ounce can of Infamil NeuroPro Infant. I think this one is the brain building easy to digest and immune health okay and this one is a like I said it's an eight ounce then you get um same thing it's the the neuro pro but this one's the gentle ease you know for your colicky or the babies that have a hard time digesting which um you tend to get those a lot then you get a six pack, I believe it's a six, yes, a six pack of the two fluid ounces Nurset bottles. And it's just the regular NeuroPro, it's the first one. And then when you get that, you also get the, um, the screw top that goes to it. So you have one, and that's the one with the little, um, little rubber nibble. So, and that's what comes in that box. So, I have to admit, and, and here's the thing, you get this, it's like a starter pack, basically, um, for joining them to do, like, doing their, um, their rewards point, you get rewards points, stuff like that. Definitely, especially if you're having a new baby, go, uh, definitely go and check them out because they have some really good deals. Um, you constantly get... The coupons and let's be honest formula ain't cheap so it's really good to get those extra coupons um, like I said I did this for a really good friend and we are going to keep her going as well so that's what those are like I said I also came on to do a chat um, so I, got, I brought Holly with me tonight 
we have baby Holly. She's already tuckered out for the day. But she is wearing her awesome, or super cute. And then we have our cute little red sock. The little socks that look like shoes. So, uh, she has been a little fuss budget today. So, we have her today with us. Um, everybody else is asleep. All the other little ones are asleep. But we need to, we're going to do a nursery tour tomorrow. Um, I'm going to get everything reorganized. I'm kind of in the mood to do a kind of a shift around. So I'm going to get everything reorganized and you guys will get to see the nursery and all the babies again. So if you guys are on, feel free to say hi and we can chit chat. Um, but definitely check out, um, Miss, uh, her name is Brenda. Check out Miss Brenda's, uh, Facebook web page because she does some really, really pretty work. I mean, I, um, I've been watching her the last couple of days. She just posted tonight, um, like a set of twins and they're so cute. So, so cute. Now I'm not, I can't remember if they were going as a set of twins or they were just two that she had done. I'm not sure, but, um, they were pretty, pretty babies. So, um, let's see. Trying to think of what else has been going on. It's hot here in Texas. Um, and the mosquito, we have the Texas sized mosquitoes that have come in. Yesterday we went out late. It was, I don't know, it was about 7 30. The sun was just going down. And in just the time it took to roll the windows down and let the hot air out, like the car was swarmed with mosquitoes. They're ridiculous. Um, so, yeah. And luckily we're having a dry spell, but then again, next week we're supposed to have um rain again so we'll see uh, i have been watching off and on about the people in florence's path and that was just uh, it's so devastating um and i know i understand where they've been um sorry i understand where they've been uh this time last year we were all look uh, those of us that lived in texas were you know dealing with the same thing so um i feel for them i really really feel for them it's been i don't know the united states has just had everywhere's had a rough time this last couple of weeks with the hurricanes and um tsunamis and just ugh, it's been a lot of stuff so i don't know i'm, I'm really hoping for a calm down and some cool we need some cool weather country needs some cool weather it's been a hot summer so luckily uh, i heard on the news that we're supposed to get maybe a little cool front next week so i'm looking forward to that and i'm really looking forward to that because i have a lot of long sleeve clothes for the babies i just haven't put them in it because it has been hot but i dug a bunch of them out last night and was going through and i was like "Ooh, i can't wait i really can't wait for october i don't know about you guys but i always look forward to october and getting to wear you know, them all getting to put on the cute Halloween outfits and, you know, just the fall colors and stuff like that. And then we get into, like, the the Christmas outfits. And I've seen a couple new Christmas ones out. Um, but I don't know yet. I don't know if I'm going to stick with what I've got or maybe buy some new stuff. So, we'll see. Sorry, I was looking at my puppies over there. He's asleep and he's got a big old smile on his face, so. But I'm definitely looking forward to the holidays. Um. What is some traditions, I would love to know what some of y'all's traditions are um, for the holiday season. I mean, some people start theirs, because uh, we've I talked to a couple people about this, some people start theirs like August is done, September it's like start on the, you know, getting the fall decoration out, the Halloween, blah, blah, blah. And then some people it's like, no, I don't start ours till like Halloween and on. So what are some of the traditions? Let me know in the comments below. What are some of y'all's traditions? Um, some for us is about the end of September, although this year we talked about we're gonna start a little earlier because I like to enjoy it. Um, we got to start putting our Halloween decorations out and fall decorations. And in October, of course, we do crafts. Um, my kids and I always try to do during the month of October and the month of December, we try to do like a themed holiday tea. Um, one year we did like a whole Halloween tea 
I would say tea party, but it was really just a big sit down luncheon tea. Um, we had little finger sandwiches. We had I had made some little spooky cookies. I think um, I made like a cheese ball that looked like a pumpkin. It was really fun. We had a lot of fun. And then for Christmas, we always do something as well during that. We have more traditions during the Christmas holidays than I do during the um, fall. But I'm looking forward to this year adding some new ones. Um, I've been looking up different crafts and stuff like that to do because that's something I always, when I grew up, I always grew up with a lot of um, good memories of the holidays and so that's something I look forward to doing too with my kids. Hi Tammy, we've missed you. <clears throat> how are you today Miss Tammy and how are your babies? And I apologize if I'm moving back and forth. <laughs> Somebody mentioned to me the other day, you're like, you move a lot. Yeah, I'm sitting in my chair rocking. It's a, it's a habit. Are you ready for the holidays, Miss Tammy? I hope so. I think one of the, there we go. I have a terrible pain in my jaw. I am so sorry you're not feeling well. Your jaw's hurting. Man, that is awful. Um, to think. Have you tried um, like a warm green tea bag? I've tried uh, when I have like jaw pain, I'll do that and I put the bag, the tea bag, like on whichever side of the jaw it's hurting, and sometimes it helps. It doesn't always help, but um, it's an idea. I'm sorry you're not feeling well. I'm taking, oh, that's right. You're taking that painting class on t Saturday. I cannot wait to see what you learn. I can't wait to see how you, uh, what needs new stuff you learn how to do. You'll do great. I know you will. Maybe you can do a, um, maybe after you do, uh, learn, learn some of the skills that they teach you. Maybe you can do a, uh, like a live class one day. So we can all come and watch because that would be really neat to see. I like watching how all the other art, how all the different artists paint and the styles they have. Because you can tell, you know, there's one way of doing it, but everybody has their own style and their own technique and their own, you know, ideals to show how it is. Um, I will show my baby. Sorry, I have to lean forward to read it uh, when it's done after the That will be so neat. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see out on your baby. It'll be really pretty, I'm sure. I kind of want to uh, do it again and learn. And um, I like to watch, let's see, I like to watch Jackie Ortiz. Um, she's done a couple of them where she shows how she paints. And I like to watch her her wife, Stephanie. Um, Bean Shanine, she has um, a couple videos I've watched. Um, I've watched Katie's as well, and she does some really cool, um, she does some really cool ones. I just like to watch the live ones, because whether I'm learning anything right off the bat or not, I, it's so soothing to watch them paint, and, um, I don't know that I've got the patience for that anymore, but I would love to, I'd love to take a live class with some of them, or like a one-on-one, -on -one because some of the techniques are so neat. Um, I'd love to learn how to root. Annette on Miracle Babies Nursery. Yes, I do like to watch Annette. She does some, she's, her babies are beautiful too. Um, she does some really good um, tutorials. I've watched a few of hers. Uh, a couple months ago, I watched a couple of hers. And um, she does some really, uh, she's very informative. So that's the thing is, you know, I do, not only do I want to watch it, but I need, I'm a visual learner. But I also need to hear like what she's doing. So, um, but, but to me, it's very calming just to watch them all together do it. So, I don't know if I'd be able to do the classes because I think I would end up just being like watching it and not doing it most of the time. Are the classes expensive? Because we looked it up. There are a couple classes in the area um, that people do, but I can't, I mean I can't imagine that they would be cheap. Or do you just like, do you have to get your own supplies 
and then you're just paying for the time. I mean, I don't know, are you doing using their supplies or stuff like that? A little headband's twisted in the back. I just noticed that. So. I was gonna tell you guys. I was gonna tell you guys a story and I forgot what I was gonna tell you. My class cost me two fifty Canadian. Well now now that's not bad. Okay, if they're including the supplies and the lunch. Two fifty for the the class, the supplies and the lunch. I don't think that's bad. Actually that's a really, really good price. Um what kit are you gonna paint? Have um have you decided what kit you're gonna paint? I think if I was going to paint one myself, I think I would want to start off with the Tinkerbell now. Um, I think the Tinkerbell is really cute um, to learn some more um, some more advanced stuff. And I, like I said, I really want to uh, learn more about rooting. But then I've also watched a lot of the, um, like the, the painted hair, the 3D, uh, the 3D hair. And that's actually what I'm really interested in now. They just said it's a German kit, no exact human. Okay. So you're getting a kit there. So that makes sense too. Well, I can't wait to see. That'll be really neat. Um, to see how they come out. Sounds like it's going to be fun. But yeah, the Tinkerbell is, I was going to say, the Tinkerbell is the one that I was thinking would be really neat to do. Um, the face is so cute and realistic. I mean, it's not, I believe it's not a real born if I remember correctly. Yeah, you leave class with a completed baby. See, that's not bad at all. That's really neat. Um, not for what I was saying. Oh, um, the, it, I know it's not a real born, but... It is a really, to me, a life, a really realistic looking face. And she's got a precious little face. So that's the one I'd like to do. Another one is, I would like to learn from, like, Bean, how she does the alternative baby. See, those are the other things. Not only do I want to learn, you know, more advanced stuff on the regular reborning, I want to learn how, like, they do the uh, advanced not advanced, the alternative, the alternative babies, because some of those, I mean, they're just, they're beautiful, I love the little clown babies that people, are, not the scary ones, but the little pastel looking clown ones, um, I want to make a fairy at one point, um, I still have to do another monkey, or do a monkey for my son, Yes, they are. They're very cool. Um, there was another one, another kit. I kind of want, this is really bad, I kind of want to make a baby pig. I have seen the reborn pigs, and they are so cute. Um, my mom likes pigs, and so I kind of would like to do a little reborn pig for her. But I, I mean, I don't even know where you buy those. I haven't seen them on Bountiful Baby now, unless I just have missed them, but I would love to do the little pig, excuse me, um, cause those are cute. I'd probably do a spotted pig, a little black and, black and pink spotted pig, but I think I want to do one of those too. So there's just so many new kits coming out and, um, I, it's just amazing at how much stuff is coming out. Me too. The real born Joseph three months. I am chomping at the bit. That's the next one I want is the three month uh, Joseph. He is so cute and so roly poly. Oh my gosh. And I saw, I watched a video where somebody compared him to another like three month or very similar to a three month. And he's huge. I mean, he's like enormous compared to this baby. I was like, golly. Um, but I'm really excited to see him. He is a beautiful baby. Beautiful baby. I want him, and then I want his sister, Emma. 
um, which is the toddler. Um, but I think if I was going to do with Emma and I was going to do the rooting, I think I would want to do it with real hair. Um, I've heard a couple people talk about rooting with real hair. And so I think, um, I think that's something I would want to do. Your best friend has one. Really? Oh my gosh. There, he is so, so cute. I have a feeling that they will have to keep making that kit for a while because so many people want that baby. So, so many people want that kit. But I can imagine he's not going to be cheap once he's reborn because, you know, it's going to take a lot to paint him. I mean, he's, he's big. So, but he is so cute. And then I'd love to see, I mean, you see like one or two pictures, I think, of the real Joseph at three months. But I would love to see, you know, a couple more pictures because I can't, I mean, my gracious, he was a big baby. But a cute baby, no less. Kimberly has been one of my favorite, the Kimberly, which is what um, Holly is has been one of my favorites um, so far as of the real born, real borns. Um, and another one of probably my all time favorites is the, um, is Jacqueline, which is the one I have. And she is the Scarlet kit. She with the little mouth, just kind of slightly open. She is a so pretty. She's probably the one I've bonded the most with um, next to my, hold on. Reborn Mama 17 got the kit. She's going, got to paint him. Oh, I can't wait to see it too. I'll definitely have to look at that one. Um, she does really good. Uh, not forgot what I was saying. I jump all over the place because I want to keep up with you, what you guys say, and then I forget. Oh, the Scarlet kit. She's probably the one I bonded the most close with next to, um, the, my Holly. And then I do like, um, the Spencer kit. I just like the Spencer kit because he's just pudgy. Um, my husband calls him Rolly Bully. She did your Lucas. Aww. And your Lucas is, I like your Lucas. He's cute. I don't know. I'd have, I mean, I'd have to have a ton of money because I'd have a ton of babies. I'd have a whole room full of babies if I could, if I had the money for it because they are, there are just so many cute kids. There's a couple of them I just really don't like. Um, and it's not, it's just my personal preference. I, you know, it's not that I don't think they're ugly. I just, they're not my personal preference, but there's a lot of kids out, especially new ones. You have five so far. Aw, I have, I currently have between my daughters and myself, we have nine. Um, we have one alternative, which is Caspian, um, which I need to do one with him here soon. I haven't done a video with him in a while. We have Caspian, um, we have Jerry, which is the Spencer kit. I have Tambri, she's a preemie and she's the Lee kit. Anaya is the Kameko kit. Um, Holly is the Realborn Kimberly. I'm trying to think, Holly is the Realborn Kimberly. I have Noelle and I actually do not know, Noelle is my daughter's, I actually do not remember what her kit was. I can't, for the life of me, I can't remember what her kit was. Um, I have Jacqueline, which is the uh, Scarlet kit. I have Bethany, and I don't know what her kit is. That's the one that I, I need y'all's help trying to figure out which kit she is. Um, and then I have Meredith, and she's the Elliot kit. And I know I'm forgetting somebody else, but I can't remember who I'm forgetting. Hold on. Let me look over here. No, actually, I think that's all of them. I think that's all of them. Huh? Yeah, that was all of them. Um, that's why I said, so my next, my next one I want is the um, Joseph Three Months. Even my husband said he was cute, too, because he's roly-poly. So... But I just wanted to come in and check on with you guys. Again, I what I meant to come on yesterday. Um, tomorrow, uh, we'll do a nursery tour. And I need to change um, Mare Mare or Meredith into um, a new outfit. 
and get her ready to go to daycare. We will be doing um, a daycare series where she goes, well, it'll be more like Mother's Day Out. She'll be going to Mother's Day Out. Um, and I've had people ask me what that is. Some people have asked me what Mother's Day Out is at daycare. It is actually not daycare. Um, Mother's Day Out for us is like daycare, but it's usually done at a church. And the kids go only a couple times during the week or maybe once a week. And um, it's just time for mom to go and run and do errands and, you know, grocery shopping or stuff like that. Or just give mom a break break during the week um it was a big popular thing here when i was growing up because i do remember going um when i was a little girl and so we're going to do that series because i am a stay-at-home mom and my babies are normally with me um i'm going to have mare going to mother's day out which that'll probably start next week that series will and you guys will get to watch that um i am still waiting for my sephora bag um to do a review on that one uh, I just got notification today that it should be here on Saturday, so fingers crossed it comes on Saturday. Something tells me it won't be here on Saturday, but we'll see. Um, so, and any, you know, if there's any ideas you guys would ever like to see, definitely let me know. I know I don't do a lot of changing videos and stuff like that, which I need to. Um, I need to do a, ba a bathing video for Jacqueline because she needs her hair washed so that we can restyle it. Um... Although I really like the little piggy tail throwing litter out, uh, out the door. They're crazy. I'll have to do a video. When I do the, my, uh, nursery tour for you guys to see tomorrow, which you guys see part of it. This is the changing table sitting here. Um, I'm thinking about moving it to another area. I just don't know yet how I'm going to do it. Um, yet we'll, we'll figure that out. And then, um, maybe I'll show you guys. They are my kids little mice and they're cute as buttons but they're a mess <laughs> so but if you guys have any suggestions or things you would like to see definitely let me know because I'll be more than happy to show you um, I know that we are getting ready to thinking about repainting um, kind of want to do a light um, like a light green or a pale yellow I don't know yet though i moved my nursery to a new location no more cat in my nursery oh my gosh i had a friend who has cats too that she had to do the same thing because her cat would not stay out of the um out of the uh bassinet in the crib um i don't generally have that problem because i don't have cats i have dogs but i do have to watch my little chawini because for some reason he thinks if I have, because sometimes I will cover the bassinet with blankets just to make sure that there, no dust gets in there if I'm cleaning in the room. And for some reason, he thinks he's got to climb in there and lay on top of them all. It drives me nuts. But most of the time, he can't get to it. So, I get that. So, alright. So, me and little uh, Holly are going to sign off for the night. And be looking for us tomorrow. We will... Um, do the nursery tour I look forward to talking to all of you again um, thank you miss Tammy again for coming I always look forward to seeing you guys it's my daughter's cat I had to put receiving blankets over you I get that I really do <laughs> I understand all too well um, I have tons of receiving blankets everywhere too um, for simply just the little dog too he thinks he's got to lay on all my blankets so I get it um, but I will get with you guys um, tomorrow i love you all very much thank you again miss tammy for showing up and for anybody else who's watching i see there's other people in here but you guys just didn't talk today and that's okay um but thank you for joining us and i love you guys very very much y'all have a great night bye